Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Calvi Calv, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Edition. So, today we're going to be playing some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, obviously, I changed. Wow, stun. What? The uh, angle of the camera. So, I don't need my laptop. And I'll... So, let's get to it. Uh, no, always Calvi Calv. Oh, space there. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I do, I do. personally. But here I am. Pray that I do. I'm like, on what? I find him on the good side. These days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally fighting against them are the assassins a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will i was born into the brotherhood a couple of weeks ago the templars found me they took me prisoner strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work it's called an animus that's where i spent most of my time spent most of my days memories of my ancestors discovering my accent, entire my accent. lives locked deep inside my dna first i revisited the life of altair ibn laahad Ahad. Oh. I didn't know he's even the La La of something known as a piece of Eden. Piece of dis Eden. Artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the <clears throat> Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Wow. Back into another animus I went. Now I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Firenze. My ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. You know, like usual. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. Okay. Yeah. Some shit going down. It's a bit sunny up there. Ah! Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. Technical difficulties. What you, what you, what you want, what you want. understand. Please wait. There's so many questions. That is what I was wearing. Just saying. Il Vaticano.
I like how he vainly attempts to try. I'm gonna stop you. Fuck. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Oh. Well, they will. Steep ass stairs. What's up, players? Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes. You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio, now. Vedemi! It is the voice of the devil! Turn away from them! Oh, that's like, follow me! I'm gonna be back here, bumping into everybody. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt you? Barely. My armor blunted his attack. Is that players? Be ready to fight. <laughs> Have you seen me? I'm always ready to fight. What are you doing? Not bad for an old man. Agree, you still have some skills. Buona questa. Excellent. Good one. Impressive. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm right here. I'm following, I'm following. Man, imagine if I had this many soldiers. Would you go? Okay. Boink. Uh, not me. I'm not on a wagon. Fucking go. I 
Oh, we're climbing up a building. Potato frita la fo. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Jump! BRB, Rome. Borgia messengers to steal their money, however, killing them will make you notorious. Notorious. 1500. Monte, Montagioni. And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. Yeah! See. Si. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Ah, oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. A few days ago, like... Like months ago, because you know it would have taken them a while to get to Rome, and then a while to get back. You know logistics. Oh man, it's such an upgrade from the other game where you can't walk anywhere inside here with horses. Thanks. Hey. Yep. Let me see. Bonjour. Good to be home. This place just keeps getting better. Thanks to you. Yeah. Mother. Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa Afoli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Katarina? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Everything there. Steal yourself in here. They will have many questions. Claudia, tell the Contessa I look forward to seeing her this evening. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Memory, memory, memory. I will do this one. I will do a little bit. I don't want to... I'll do at least one mission. I don't want to bail. I didn't see what time I started recording, so I don't know how long this episode's been. Cazzo. Oh. Right. I need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Good thing I'm big and strong. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I, I have no husband. husband. The flowers are for a party. Am I invited? To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh? What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. 
I have been. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. <laughs> Promise you will not tell Claudia. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. <coughs> now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. We must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. <laughs> I think I might be a little tired from banging Katarina Sforza, but I think I can manage it. Run in, run in, run in, run in, run in, run in, run in. Can I buy anything? I, ne I never pay attention. Like, oh, I don't think I can. I wonder how much money I had at the beginning, or at the end of the last game. I think I probably had way more than this, so I think they're just making up an arbitrary number. Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. God bless you, Ezio. What I'm fucking doing. I just wasn't reading. Uh, here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Arrivederci, Ezio. Ezio, the town of the Fernando. <laughs> Come back to the town. That's not at all what he sounds like. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whee! whoop -a doo I believe. Sup, player? So. These are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. <coughs> My dog thinks that he doesn't. My dog is smart. <laughs> hey, you drunkard. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. Nailed it. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect the gun to work like magic. We need to hear her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France. A, a hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron murder. Imagine firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. I can only imagine. Wrought iron murderer. You come in there, buddy, pal, friend? <clears throat> What have you done? 
We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. His breath is more fatal than our carrots. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Aim at something to test the alignment. Oh, fuck you. The aim to that mission is blind. The problem must be behind the cannon. Eat all of the dick. <laughs> I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the sacred cannon. <laughs> Rot iron murderer. Woo! Kappa chow! Wrought iron murderer. I just like saying that. It's fun to say. See, it's very loud. Wrought iron murderer. What? Hello. Oh. Buongiorno, Ezio. Caterina, to what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries will be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. <laughs> Mother. Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. They enter the Vatican and face Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind in the future, but gave hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there. Standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vaults did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good news. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? Where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he remains so composed. I let him live. The Spaniards live? Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We are sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him, but I trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Thanks. Alright, I... I think 
think I should be able to save. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <clears throat> I'm gonna end it there, so thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen soon. <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, comment, like and comment. Make sure you hit the bell -ding, to get notifications about future videos and when they come out. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good out. Bye.